nicht allein. There no times for the Abend. Film as dream, film as music. It's an art form transcends borders, and a universal language goes directly to our hearts. From November 15th to 24th, the Festival of German Cinema will hit the big screens of Beijing. With a diverse selection of the latest and greatest from Deutschland's directors, the festival has attracted a sizable following among local film buffs. I am at the opening ceremony of the festival, which takes place at the Broadway Cinematheque MoMA, a trendy landmark in Beijing. Later, we're going to meet three guests: managing director of German films, director of Goethe Institute, and culture counselor of German embassy. This year, actor Wang Jingchun is invited as the ambassador of the festival. At the Berlinale this February, he just scooped a Silver Bear Award as best actor. Shundorf的铁皮股，当时是那部片子刚好是过了那年的戛纳的金棕榈。我们那时候看的还是陆生代，嗯，能够看到这部电影，当时是完全是跟我以前所看的电影不一样，非常的震撼，非常的触动。我
and but I hope also some other films uh, will do better and I also hope that uh, in the future we will have more co-productions you know so if, if a film is co-produced between the two countries automatically the film goes to both of the markets so this is also uh, something we are hoping that we have, will have a co-production agreement might be signed next year and then we will have more projects together. Gute Institute Beijing has been organizing this event for many years. Based upon your knowledge, who are the major audiences of this film festival and uh, how were those films received in the past? From my experience, I think uh, there is, especially in, in the larger cities in China, there's quite a large audience uh, for films uh, that are a little bit out of the box. So that are not blockbusters from Hollywood or that are not like big commercial success films, be them from the United States or also from China, but people that are interested in foreign cultures, uh, European cultures, and uh, these people, I think they use the opportunity of a film festival, like uh, the Festival of German Film, to get to know these cultures and to, to listen to stories from these uh, cultures and also to look at how these films are made uh, aesthetically. You studied sinology mm. and also Chinese literature, mm. both in Germany and in China. Mm. So um, after all those years of learning and exploring and observation, mm. what do you think can best represent mm. Chinese culture to people around the world? I think culture is something that is living, that is made by people within a certain context and uh, that is provoking questions, that is uh, telling stories from different angles and, and that is I think also what is important for every country, for every culture, uh, that it's um, you're conscious of its diversity and that this diversity can be in somehow some way transferred. Actually you have to explain some things, you have to explain some social background, some historical back background and then starting from this point then I think a lot of things can become very interesting and what I always really love about China is that it's so full of so different stories of amazing people. Some people very simple living outside on a farm and but still turning into a poet or all these stories are there and, and they're waiting there to be told and to actually to be to get in contact with the world. I think all these wonderful th things, people and stories that come from, from China can conquer the world and the, the hearts of the people outside the world. Would you like to say something in Chinese to invite people to, to, you know, to go to see the films from mm. Germany? Welcome <laughs> 很多很多非常棒,欢迎大家欣赏自己的电影,欢迎大家参加。How important is cultural exchange in fostering the mutual understanding and also friendship between our two peoples? Sometimes relations between two countries can get rough. Our task as diplomats though is to bring about peace peace between two countries, peace in the world, and this needs hard work. This work is done by politicians, by bureaucrats, by civil servants like me. But in the end, it is something that needs to be sustainable. And this sustainability is only reachable if it's also agreed upon by societies. And culture projects such as the German Film Festival here is a project that tackles the society, not only by content, but also by the people who are involved, the filmmakers, the civil society, the art critics, and the wider audience. So culture policy is a culture policy for the people and by the people, and we are convinced that this brings about the mutual understanding between China and Germany. Which aspect of Chinese culture would you like to introduce to your friends in Germany? Well, I think they don't know much, uh, first of all, about Chinese contemporary art, which is very, you know, lively and, and energetic here. There's a lot of 
you know, very progressive art, and I think that should be exposed. That is exposed, but I think there could be more. And secondly, because I'm a singer myself, I think we should focus also on music, and this goes beyond classical music. I think the best ambassador between our two countries is classical music. We will celebrate Beethoven's birthday next year, the 250th birthday. But uh, this is already very, very established um, as a field of cooperation. I'm quite interested to learn, and I was surprised that, to learn that there is so much yeah, new music, music that uh, can address younger audiences, that uh, fusions in a way traditional Chinese music from Yunnan with jazz or with blues. And I think this is a wonderful, uh, you know, approach to tackle the audience you want to address because in the end liking a country it goes via the heart it goes via emotion and i think music can bring this emotion